Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do a carousel with a zoom effect. You can use this in presentations and or video. So let's head out of Canva and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna set up our background. So I'm gonna use this picture as my background effect and I am gonna grab some text for my heading. I'm just gonna keep it at here. I'm gonna change it to white and I wanna make it a little bit chunkier so we can see it. So now that I got it, my text uh, what I want, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add a couple spaces below it so I can move it off the screen. Slide number one is done. So I can duplicate that page. What I want to do is I want to bring my text down. I'm going to go over and I am going to grab a black gradient rectangle and I am going to apply that to the page because I want to kind of have like a darkening effect at the bottom right here. And then what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to take that and I'm going to lock it into place so it doesn't mess with my frames because it will grab, the frames will grab onto this. So you really want to kind of lock that down if you're going to use one of those. So now that I have that all in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new page. And I am gonna grab this a square. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to match it to my page size. So when I'm going to en enlarge my pictures or slides that they'll fit the, the right size of what my page is. So once I got that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce that size. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna make it five slides so what I want to do is duplicate this four more times. So that I'm going to one, I got the original two, three, four, and five. Now what I want to do is I want to stretch them out, highlight them, go into position, go into arrange, and hit the tidy up button. If it looks like I got got good spacing in between them, the kind of spacing that I want, I'm going to leave them just like they are, and then I'm going to go to my next step, which is adding my photos or my slides. If you're adding slides, I recommend what I would recommend to do is go ahead and create your slides and then download each one of them and bring them back in as a PNG. So I'm going to do a couple slides just for, so we can see. And then I'm going to do also some photos. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab some photos out and do that part there. Now I have all my slides in place. What I want to do, because I want to add a reflection, is I am going to copy this. I am going to flip it, flip it vertical. I'm going to put it underneath. And I am going to turn the transparency down. And I'm going to do that for each one of them. I'm going to copy. I'm going to flip vertical. I'm going to put it underneath. And I'm going to turn the transparency down. Um, there is a app that does reflections. Do not use it for this. Um, it caused me major, major problems trying to create this tutorial because for some reason it makes Canva lag. It messes with Canva, literally messes with Canva. It does not work. It might be all right if you're just doing like a single photo or a single design. It might be all right, but if you're doing something... Um, I wasn't even ready to do that. I gotta, I'm over here talking to y'all instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But um, yeah, just don't use it for this because it you'll start to do the animation part and start working on your slides and all of a sudden it will just start lagging and having a lot of problems. It, it has been my nemesis all morning. And this is the fifth time I've done this and I kept thinking that it might have been, it might have been, that uh, app and lo and behold, once I tried it without the app, let me move that one up just a smidge. So now I got all my, it was the app. So now that I've got all my reflections into place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group this all together. What I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna take an element, I'm gonna go to elements, I'm gonna grab a square. I'm only gonna pull from one side, so I am gonna add a pull. So I'm going to add that here 
I'm going to group that to my group. I'm going to change that to transparent. Come on. Hey, hold on. Oh, I'm going to change that to transparent. And if you're going to pull, if you're going to go pull and pull the other side, put one on both sides. If you're going to pull it back and forth, that's a design choice. So now that I have that set up, I am going to go and drop that, drag it into my second page. I'm going to take this third page and delete it because I do not need it anymore. Now, once I've got that all into place, I'm going to figure out what size I want my slides. So if I want to keep them small like this, I want to make them bigger. I want to do something, you know, that's going to be up to you. What's size you want to put those when they're coming across and where you want to put them. You want to put them down here on the, on the shoreline, kind of make it look cool. That kind of looks cool. Let's leave them on the shoreline. And, uh, so I'm going to take them off. All right. So now we're prepped and ready. Now we can, now we're going to make the magic happen. So what I want to do is I'm going to go and duplicate this page. I want to go ahead. I don't want my text on here anymore. I'm done with my text. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my group. I'm going to bring it to my first one reaches the center. And I might do this sloppily because I'm doing this kind of fast. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate again. I'm going to go into my page. I'm going to make this page really small. I'm going to move this out the way for us. And I'm going to make it small so I can go ahead. And what I'm going to do is make this super, super big. So my stuff actually fits in side like so. So now I have my slide in there. So once you get your slide in there and position the way you want it, what you want to do is go to the previous one, duplicate that page and bring it around to the other side. Now we can make this big because we don't need it small anymore. That small stuff gone. We don't need that. So you're going to duplicate that page because it's going to take it and move it back to its position. We're going to go and duplicate again and then move our next slide to the center that we want to use. Then we're going to go to our enlarged one. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to bring it around. And then all we're going to do is move it to the next slide that we're going to use. And then we're going to go to the one previous. In front, we're going to duplicate that, bring that around to the back, duplicate it again, move to our next photo that's in the center, to the center, or wherever you want to place it, it's sort of kind of center. And then I am going to go and take my main one, duplicate that, my big boy, we'll call it the big boy, put that there, and then I'm going to move to the next slide. And if you want to do text and stuff like that, you can add these your text in here as you're going along. I just, for this, I'm not, I'm showing technique. You can do all the bells and whistles later, like I know y'all do. Make them all extra pretty. So we're going to go to the one before. We're going to duplicate the page. Bring it to the back. Duplicate it again. We're going to move it over to the center. And then we're going to go back and get our big boy page and duplicate that. And then I'm going to move it over to the end like so. Oh, maybe like so. And then I'm going to move it again to the last one, to the next one. And then we're going to repeat that till we do all of them. We're going to duplicate, send it over, go here, duplicate again, go in here, move it to the last one. I'm trying to keep it on the, 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 the line right there. And then we're going to take the big boy. We're going to duplicate that page. I'm going to bring it over here. And then I am going to move it to the next photo. And then I'm going to take my end one, duplicate that page, have it go here and then to finish it off because that was our last one i am going to duplicate that page again and then i'm going to bring them all to the center and have them rest so you can do that and then you can have whatever text you want and if you like that if you want to start off that way 
you can duplicate that page. Let's see, we'll duplicate that page too. And then you can bring one of those up front. Come on, come on, travel, 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 travel. And you can go like here before you start and put it here. And then you'll have the hole and then it'll go out and then we'll go back in. Now we want to add our animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our transitions, take our match and move, turn it all the way up. And then you're going to set apply between all pages. And these are at 2.5. We'll leave those at 2.5 and try to make everybody at 2.5. And that first one's still at 2.8, 2.6. Yeah, that's okay. So now we're going to go through and watch what we have. So let's see what we got. And you don't have to put that in there if you don't want to. You can you can leave that out. We'll just go here. Let's pause it real quick while we're at that beginning point. If you want to see it without it, we'll delete that page real quick. And then we'll start off here and look at it without it doing the whole thing. So they'll just come in. Like I said, that last piece that we're doing that at the end, you can also do it at the beginning. But that's like a personal preference. So we're doing that and we're doing that across the line. And you can see them going in and out. And that's how you do that one. It's pretty easy peasy. Once you have it set up, it's just a pretty, it's pretty easy to do. It's not a hard animation to do. It's just a lot of this stuff. Once you get it set up, it's, it's very easy to do once you get it set up, but do not use, if you want to do the reflections, do not use the app that's in Canva. It will not let you work very well. And like I said, with these, you can make them bigger if you want to. You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever. If you want to start off and have them come over and you want them bigger floating across here, you don't care that some's coming off the edge here. You can make them as big as you want. You can go massively big if you want to and have them come across. You can have them smaller. Like I said, that's, that's all a personal preference. It's not going to hurt you doing either one of them once you have it set up. And that's how you do that. And I am Michelle. I am glad you came and heard some doggy noises in the background and stuck with me through this tutorial. Uh, like I said, this is the fifth time I've done this and I, I'm bringing a sigh of relief. And the other thing is, I love you guys. Thank you for sticking around for this tutorial. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye y'all.